Well, we're just giving that a little bit longer. Ow! Oh, I just... <laughs> What is going on guys, Andy Gabs back for another video. I am currently in the car with two of my coworkers. Uh, we are heading up to Port Wanimi, California right now. So I think it's like, what, 300 miles north of San Diego? Yep. Something like that. We're gonna be here for just under a week. So figured I would just vlog going up there. We're about to stop at Coco's Curry, which is in Irvine, California. Super popular place in Japan. Everyone that's ever stationed in Japan always goes to Coco's. Uh, and there's one now in California, so we are gonna stop there. I will bring you guys back once we get there. So we made it to Coco's. I got curry, Rams got curry, and Griffin got salad. No one comes to Coco's and gets salad. Let's get back from Japan. Well, he did just get back from Japan yesterday, and now he has to drive all the way up to uh, Port Wanimi. But yeah, Coco's curry, it is delicious. All right, guys, so obviously we got the Coco's. It was delicious. Then I got some bubble tea. Boba, boba, bubble, same thing. Uh, we are currently stuck in traffic. Uh, I think we've moved about 20 feet in the past five minutes, and it does not look like it's getting any better. Uh, but we're almost to LA now, so once we get to LA and get past it, hopefully there will be no more traffic. For now, that's what we've got going on. A whole lot of nothing. All right guys, so I made it to the hotel. This is actually the next day. I had work today and uh, it was just kind of crazy so I didn't have time to film yesterday when we got to the hotel. I was trying to figure out ways to end this video because honestly there's nothing to do up here. It nope. kind of sucks. Um, so we were talking about it, but before we get into that, I figured I would show you the hotel room. I'm actually in my buddy JJ's hotel room right now. He is right there on the couch, but his room is the same as mine, so I figured I would just show you his room and instead of mine, because it's the same. So we have a kitchen, which is pretty dope, because normally the hotels that we stay at, we don't get kitchens, and then there's like this little island bar type of thing. You have a living room, that's a pull-out couch, which I have the same thing, or like a pull-out bed couch. Uh, little desk, no one ever uses that. Lights, you got your bed over here, TV on the wall, and like if you wanna watch it in bed, like whoop, that's pretty dope. Flips around. Bed, your window with a view of absolutely nothing. Bathroom is pretty nice. I like to have a bathtub, so that kind of sucks. There's no bathtub. Uh, and then that's oh, just... And the water spills on the floor. Oh yeah, and the water 100% spills on the floor. Super annoying. There's a better view of JJ. He's very pretty. So that's pretty much the room. Honestly, really nice for where we are, because again, this area kind of sucks and there's nothing to do. But I was trying to think of things to do for the end of this video, because I think I probably only have two or three minutes of video so far. Uh, so we are going to do an MRE mukbang. If you don't know what an MRE is, uh, it's a meal ready to eat, and it's basically what the military eats when you're deployed, uh, whether you know it's overseas or you're on a ship and you guys like run out of food or whatever. This is what the military eats. So we have a uh, cheese tortellini in tomato sauce and a pork sausage patty maple flavored. Um, and there's gonna be some other stuff in here. Uh, it is warfighter tested, if you guys can see that. Uh, but we are gonna set up right now and then make these MREs and eat them. I hope you guys enjoy. We are set up, um, not sure how the audio is. I know the lighting kind of sucks. Sorry, not at my house, so I'm making do with uh, what we have. So, we have the cheese tortellini and tomato sauce. Oh, do I get the pork? No. <laughs> you get the cheese tortellini and tomato right, cool. sauce. I want the maple flavored pork sausage. Oh, so yes. basically this is like a whole meal in a bag and like they have insane amounts of calories. So we'll go ahead, open them up now. Uh, I've never done a mukbang before too, so. Me either. Uh, so. Yeah, he doesn't YouTube very much. You don't even social media. Like, no, 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 I got nothing. I got nothing. I, I can't even mm. open it. So that's smells like the point. There we go. It smells like the point. I'll tell you guys everything that mine comes with and then everything that his comes with. Yeah. So mine comes with orange juice beverage powder, dry roasted peanuts, crackers, peanut butter, table syrup, AKA maple syrup, and um, maple muffin top, Mu ma maple muffin <laughs> top, TFF. What does TFF mean? Totally fabulous. Mm. Oh, no. Well, okay. <laughs> we were going the same way. Uh, and then this is the actual pork sausage patty. And then, so in this little pack, his will be the same. It's got like uh, gum, matches. Um, let's see, we got, oh, non-dairy creamer. We got a napkin. We've got 
uh, spray dried instant coffee matches a moist towelette because you always need a moist towelette. Uh, iodized salt and sugar. So that's everything that was mine. So, oh, and then you have this right here. This is like the heating element, uh, but we'll show you guys how to do that in a second. So what's everything you have? All right, so pretty much it's uh, cheese swirling and tomato sauce, right? Um, I'm always thirsty, so I gotta have the carbonated beverage. It's uh, mm. electric beverage powder, great flavor. Is always it carbonated good. too? Yeah. No, yeah. that's just carbohydrate. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yes. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, trail makes recovery. You know, you gotta recover after a long day's work of doing nothing. 310 calories. We got crackers. Solid. 180. <clears throat> Chocolate put, uh, peanut butter spread. That shit's delicious. Oh, it is. We got vanilla pudding. Oh, dessert powder. Ooh. You have pudding? So yeah, we need yeah. water. Uh, I'll get like a tub of water at some point. 300 calories. And then... Uh, All the normal stuff and then that's your actual tortellini. Yeah, right? tortellini is 100 or 290 calories. Let's keep some stuff on your side. I don't want your booty. Mm, well, we can mix it up. It might be better. Yeah, <laughs> we will try it all. Um, so basically, we'll start off, we'll make the hot stuff because the hot stuff takes a minute. So you take this bag, you fill it to the desired um, level of water. And then you, I mean, in the field, you like lean it up against a rock or something, but we're civilized human beings and have bourbon bottles. Uh, so we'll lean it up against that. And then we throw our sausage patty, or in his case, tortellini in there, and it warms it up using this crazy like chemical pack of stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and get that set up now. Uh, and then I'll bring you guys back once we actually get it in and show you guys like how it gets hot. Ooh. So I'm stupid. Uh, I was telling you guys that we're putting water in this to heat it up. That is actually incorrect. We put the water in this and that's how it heats up. Uh, so we're going to do that now and then I'll bring you guys back. And then we'll also make the uh, beverage powder too. Alright guys, so we got the uh, water in the MRE bag. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's steaming right now. Oh, you guys can kind of see it right there. So it's steaming and that's because like this powdery stuff, I don't know, science, it gets really hot. Um, so we have them both out. It's actually like really hot. So we have both of those propped up, uh, and you gotta wait, mm. set a timer on your phone for um, four, four, four minutes and 30 seconds. Four, 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 four minutes and 30 seconds. While we are waiting for our actual meal portion to get warm, right, because that's what this does, is it heats up like the actual meal, right? In my case, sausage, in his case, tortellini. Better. Um, so we'll start, we'll just open up everything, I guess. Uh, so I'm gonna open. Op I'm gonna open. I'm gonna open my uh, maple muffin top TFF. I still don't know what TFF means. I'm going for totally fabulous. I just I think that's what it should be. Um, so you just like open up and we'll just yeah. Talk I'm doing show mix. That sounds good. All right. So here's my wow. That actually smell that. That smells really good. It smells fresh. So yeah. fresh. <laughs> well, we should have looked at when these were manufactured. Probably a couple years ago. Um, but here's my maple muffin top right there. Mm. Use his head since the focal point is set on his head right now. Uh, but yeah, there's my maple muffin top. So I'm just going to set that right here. We don't need plates because we're men. I got a trail mix open. It's pretty good. You know, it's, it's a solid mix. If you guys can appreciate what this looks like, it does not. It looks like an alien egg sac. Oh, this looks like. Ooh, that looks so gross. Oh, you have to eat it though. Oh, this looks so bad. Ooh, this just made a weird noise when I opened it. It went. It's actually pretty good though, right? My dry roasted peanuts have absolutely zero seasoning on them, so mm. I'm sure that's going to be phenomenal. This chocolate peanut butter spread tastes like Nesquik. And cottage cheese. I don't know. It's pretty good though. Cottage, dude, taste just peanuts. Here, trade. Right. Taste the peanuts though. We'll trade. The peanuts are phenomenal. Yeah. That's great. This is kind of crap. We're so bad. Ooh, that's, that's really quick, good. right? <laughs> I have fruit. Yeah. <laughs> so I just have normal peanut butter spread. He has a chocolate peanut butter. Admittedly, that's better. Um, <laughs> tear it corner. I'm just trying to like get everything open. You could tear at corner and make it work. I'm just saying. I tore at corner. I did. <laughs> uh, this is maple syrup. I'll do this once the sausage patty is done. 
So I have my carbohydrate or carbonated, as he read that, because he can't read. Uh, electrolyte beverage powder orange. Directions for use, allow water just chemically purified to stand 30 minutes before adding to beverage powder. Um, or since we're civilized human beings, we can just use tap water. <laughs> uh, tear pouch at notch, add 12 ounces of water, so or half a canteen. So I'm gonna add my orange powder to this, and then he's gonna add his grape powder to his. Uh, we'll bring you guys back once that is done. Food is still steaming. I added a little bit more water to Griff's because it wasn't, Griff, so military, right? We go by last name, so he's either poisoning. Griffin or JJ or Griff. Um, any one of the three, I will switch between. Yeah. So I have my orange carbonated beverage powder. Carbonated. So you got me saying carbonated. <laughs> my orange carbohydrate beverage powder. He has his grape, which for some reason is blue. Because grapes come out blue. So uh, grapes say. are blue. So we're gonna dump this into our cups. Oh my God. Dude, if that would have spilled, I would have been so mad. It's not your apartment, or I know, but it would have spilled all over my apartment. shorts. Granted, these shorts are already all stained, so who cares? Ooh, Ooh look, look at that. 12. Look at that. It looks like It smells. Mm. Smell that. It smells like grape cough syrup, but looks like blue raspberry Kool-Aid. It's very confusing. Mm. Cool to um, freeze. Okay, so cheers. Let's try it cheers. out. Oh, that's so good. Switch. I love it. Switch. Yeah, switch. Is yours good? You didn't say it was good. So I <laughs> feel like I'm going to be not happy. I feel like mine tastes way better. Yours is like... His is... His is like, um, Fanta, almost. Yeah, like I want mine to keep your nasty oh. ass blue grape shit. Oh. Um, yeah, so we're still just waiting on this to be done. I'm actually about to go empty them out because they should be done. It specifically warns not to uh, heat it more than six minutes and we're at probably 10 minutes right now. But it's whatever. Fine. It it's smells like burnt electrics. Real quick, I'm just gonna go empty the water out and we will take our pouches out. Um, probably get some plates because we do have plates because we're civilized somewhat even though I just said in the beginning of the video that we weren't civilized. Um, and then we will try our tortellini and our maple patty sausage. Well, we're just giving that a little bit longer. Ow! I'm great. Ow! I'm great. Ow! Oh, I just kicked the bar. Ow! Dude, imagine like stubbing your toe, but 10 times worse because I went to go slide in and my toe slipped off. Oh, it's gonna bruise. F me. <laughs> Ow. You okay, bro? <laughs> oh my god, that's totally gonna be the intro too, and that was not staged, I promise. Ow. <laughs> it hurts so bad. If I remember for my next video, I'll show you guys what my toe looks like, because it's definitely gonna bruise. It's ugly as I haven't seen it yet. Oh god. <laughs> Me, dude, it still hurts. Anyways, I'm good. Now my toe doesn't hurt that bad anymore. Uh, so this is the pudding. So we added four ounces, roughly, of water. Like, I don't know how to measure just four ounces when we're in a hotel room. It says it. I did my best. So uh, essentially, we're supposed to fold this over and vigorously shake for 60 seconds. So commence time lapse. Whew. All right, so that was 60 seconds-ish. Uh, so then you got to dump it into the bowl and continue to stir with spoon. It looks, it looks like mayonnaise. It looks grainy. <laughs> so you gotta continue to mix with spoons, bro. <laughs> Dude, it tastes like cake batter. It's really good. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's <laughs> really good. It literally tastes like vanilla cake batter. Wait, hold on. Yep, yeah, yeah, it still does. <laughs> That's great. So if you guys wanna see what it looks like real quick. It, I mean, it just looks like vanilla pudding, um, but it really, like, like, no bullshit. It tastes like you're eating vanilla cake batter. Like an eclair. I have a sausage patty. Ew, smell that. It literally smells like burnt bubbles. Oh, Put that over God, there. God, dude. Okay, so, uh, we essentially, we just open it up. I don't know why I'm having so much difficulty with, like, the opening portion of this video. <laughs> Ew, I can taste the chemical. Ooh. Mm. Then we slide up. Oh god. Look at the liquid that just came out of that. It's the oils. It's the juices. Can you see that? I think you can. Gross. It's like a neon orange oil that came out. Oh, there's my sausage patty. Yep. Oh my god. Oh. Dude, that looks like dog food. That looks like a slab <laughs> of dog food. Well, I'm gonna bring it closer so you guys can see it. Look at that. 
that literally looks like a slab of dog food. It honestly smells kind of good though. It smells like sausage. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring his up too so you can uh, see his. So there's the uh, tortellini. Oh my god, I almost just spilled them all. There's the tortellinis in all of their glory. They actually do smell really good. Dude, we've been in Afghanistan for six months. All right, we haven't had an MRE. We've been eating sand. That tastes so good. This is real life. Mm. Mm. All right, so just like get a piece off and then we'll switch. Oh my god. The, yeah, we'll switch. The sure. way it cuts. Chef Wardy. Chef Wardy. I'm not switching. That's not very good. I remembered this one <laughs> tasting better. That's why I wanted this one and not the tortellini. This tastes like Chef Boyer. Oh, dude, come on. You gotta get a piece equal to the size that I took. Oh, that's horrible. This is a slab of dog food. That's literally what it looks like. All right, so tortellinis. So yeah, these are cheese tortellinis, not regular tortellinis. But I think all tortellinis have cheese. Same, same. <coughs> oh yeah, Why? Chef Boyardee. I need to clear my palate a little bit. They totally brought the chef in to make this. Clear my palate. Oh yeah, cleanse, cleanse. And then chase the orange juice with bourbon. Good. It literally tastes like sawdust. Not taste, like the, the consistency is like sawdust. It's like, you ever take a dog's food, warm it up, fry it, and you got your food right here. That's that's what it is right now. It's not good. Whatever, I'll eat more of it. Ew! <laughs> no, no I, I, can't, I can't, I just, I can't. I get the aftertaste. The aftertaste makes it like one out of 10, Four at Dude, most. The tortellinis are good though. You gotta leave that one tortellini. Right. So I mean the sauce. Um, um, so what no one tells you Rick, about um, Rick's sauce about MREs is if you mix everything together, that's when it tastes the best. So what we're both gonna do is uh, each take a cracker. I'm gonna split the tortellini. Out. My lips are burning. Right. <laughs> so we're gonna take each a little piece of tortellini, take a piece of sausage. Then mm, rip it one. Uh, here you go. You get two peanuts and a pretzel. You gotta add one pretzel. Piece of muffin. Oh, table syrup. We need table chocolate, syrup. Peanut so butter. chocolate peanut butter and then we'll do regular peanut oh, butter. Oh, it's like too. a whole meal right here. Okay, there's that. <laughs> Obviously top it was a meal. Um, and then of course, like, we can't make this a real meal without adding some powdered coffee. I knew you'd do that shit. I saw that, I was like, nah, we'll save this later. Like, no. This looks like an hors d'oeuvre that you would get at a really expensive restaurant. It kind of like tiramisu, maybe, I don't know. I mean, we have the layers. So just to recap, this is tortellini, sausage, hot sauce, tomato sauce, peanuts, pretzels, chocolate peanut butter spread, regular peanut butter spread, vanilla pudding. Oh, and then just to like 100%, like oh, I'm gonna add a dash of orange I got juice. You. I got you. Don't worry. Yeah, you just add a dash of your grape. Mm -hmm. No promises that I don't puke. Um, <clears throat> so we're gonna dink it and we're gonna sink it, the whole thing. Oh my god. It's not good. It's coming in layers. Oh. But after it mixes up, it's pretty good. It's just like such a mesh of flavors. Mm. That's not bad. I don't know about him. That's <laughs> <laughs> not good. <laughs> and then I'm gonna drink this that I mixed my spoon in. Mine was fine. It's like tiramisu, coffee, pudding, and I tasted the you know, the gross. pork. You. The pork just killed me the whole time. Pork. That was disgusting. I didn't even taste the coffee, which is crazy because this is like super concentrated coffee. Like, taste this plain. <laughs> just dump the whole pouch. Tastes like asshole. But it like uh, <laughs> taste how strong it is. Uh. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, oh, We're gonna be awake burnt. till two o'clock in the morning. But yeah, comment if you like this. If you did, we'll pick up some more MREs. Maybe we'll get some grosser ones to do in the future, like the vegetable. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, chili Mac. Chili Mac. Chili Mac. Chili, well, Chili Mac's really good. That's like the best one. Oh, it's the worst. Do that one. Yeah, no, that's the best one. Uh, but they have like vegetable 
It's gross. Uh, but yeah, so if you like this video, comment that down below. Uh, and if you did, me and Griff will get together when we're in San Diego and uh, film another one of these, maybe with Kelsey and his wife as well. Oh, and our kids. And our kids. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so he has a daughter too that's the same age as Scarlett. She's like two weeks older than Scarlett. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, but yeah, his wife, Blythe. Shout out, shout out to Blythe. Hi, how are you? Uh, I hope I get to meet you soon. But yeah, so we'll do a video, all of us trying, maybe get four different ones or something. So yeah, if you guys want to see that, let me know. But thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Please like, subscribe, hit the like button. Oh, so he's in it all. I mean, I was going to like time it, so it went back and forth. Uh, so yeah, please like, comment, subscribe, turn the notification bell on so you get notified every time I post. I appreciate you guys. Peace. Right.